Shovelman was the producer, had been the director of the Danny Thomas show. He was a wonderful, brilliant uh, producer. And uh, he read the scripts, and uh, Danny Thomas was the money man, and he said, we'd like to do this again. So Carl came, and we talked, and I learned that he had written a pilot for himself, that he had been encouraged to think that he could sell a pilot in which he would play the lead. He had written a pilot, he sat at Fire Island, and he prepared 13 scripts for a new series to be called Head of the Household or something like that. Yeah. He had made the pilot, and it hadn't sold. And since I knew that he was talented, I wondered why it hadn't sold, and I asked if I could see it, and I saw it. He got me a print, and I saw it. And it seemed apparent to me the reason it hadn't sold is because he was miscast. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't look or sound like a Scarsdale... Uh, he didn't look or sound like himself. <laughs> and uh, so I, uh, the material was so good, the written material was so great that I said, you shouldn't be wasted. Do you mind if I try it again, recast it, and try it again? He said, that's fine. You know, we don't want you. We want somebody better than you, somebody more like, better, better. As I wrote it for myself, I knew what he was talking somebody about. Somebody to play you yeah. better than you. Yeah, they wanted somebody better than me. Well, the recasting, of course, wound up with uh, with Marion with Dick, but his willingness to step aside and let somebody else carry the ball was the reason for the the existence of the Van Dyke show.